Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited because we're doing something with the interior for the Civic Si. Without further ado, I'm going to show you what we just picked up. Yeesh! Ooh, carbon. 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 <laughs> so we got this carbon steering wheel for the Si over there. And it is from eBay. There's a similar steering wheel by Buddy Club, but that one is 400 something dollars and I was looking at this one from eBay and it looked very similar. So just for fun, I bought it to test it out and see how the fitment is, the quality. So far the quality looks pretty good. I'm comparing it to the one that my brother has on his BRZ right there. The quality is pretty much the same. Hopefully it looks good in the car. I'm gonna try to throw it on right now and then show you guys what it looks like. What do you guys think about that wing right there? Leave a comment down below. That's what it looks like. Look at all these cars. And the S2000's inside that garage right there. It's called Dusty because we haven't driven it. It does need a new clutch. So for the guys who are asking what happened to the S2000, it just needs a new clutch. It's been sitting in the garage so it's not really drivable right now. And I don't want to like kill the clutch. Hopefully in a few weeks, we'll get that replaced. So this is a before shot of the steering wheel itself. It's just a plain SI stock steering wheel. The nice thing is it does have the SI badge, which is kind of cool. And I did put this like, R style badge on the front and rear of the car. Hopefully, after this is done, it matches the look of the short shifter. Boom. Dude, chill out, <laughs> bro. I'm nervous doing this, dude. <laughs> well, let me do a quick little Google search about how to take off those pins. It's like, there's two pins right here that hold the positive and negative on, but I already took off the battery, so. We should be good, just to be safe, you know? Oh, there Ooh. we go. Oh, you did it. Yes, Yay. I did it. All right, so this should be a little looser now. Oh, there we go. Okay, so how this works is I was trying to figure out for a minute. There is a, a green wire right here. So if you see right here, this green wire, this should be the air horn. If you pop, there's a little plastic pin on the bottom, which is about this size, it goes underneath the car right here. If you pop this panel off, it'll come off. And then you can see the horn uh, wirings. And then now we should be able to pull this one down and undo it. So I loosened it, I didn't fully like pull it off yet. When I pull it off, I don't want to hit my face with it. I threaded it back back on. Oh, yeah. yeah, I just need to break it loose now. I think you just need to hit it. The other guy just... <laughs> Oh. oh, it actually worked. <laughs> I'm insane, boy. <laughs> so now you gotta take off this last piece right here. This white pin. It's like right there, yep. Yep, this one right here comes right off. Easy. Take off everything I see. All these Phillip heads. And everything should just slide off now, right? Boom. Transfer it over. Just do the exact same thing. Fitment is pretty good, pretty much perfect. Gotta put the ground back on, you know. Gonna, hold on. I can't find the hole, man. Guys, so this is the newly installed steering wheel with all the bits and pieces and the buttons. I'm gonna throw that on real quick. Dang, the Whoa, setup flex. is pretty clean, bro. I'm outbound. Carbon steering wheel. It's pretty good. Uh, all right, see ya. You guys get to be in our flu food vlog adventures. We are going to LA to go and eat. Eat what? You might ask. But anyways, we're at barbecue chicken. A sore garlic. What is this? Dope. 85 boys. It's so crowded in here right now because it's about to close. So I'm just trying to get everything. <laughs> bags, bags. You like that? I like my ride. Fast one, try Hey, check this. Check. Burnout! 